In my first playthrough of Elden Ring, I fought many Black Knife assassins. I have to admit, I even used the Black Knife T summons multiple times. They were all so strong, so fast, and their Blade of Death skill was annoying as hell. So I thought, what if I become one? What if I become a Black Knife assassin? So I did. In this video, I'll be answering the question, can you beat Elden Ring as a Black Knife assassin? To hopefully get some sympathy points, I just wanted to say that I've only finished Elden Ring once. The rules are simple, play as a black knife assassin and my level cap is 150. I'm going to do this run in new game plus because you need access to the elevator to the mountain tops of giants for the armor and that's accessible after Morgoth. Also because I'm a lazy f Young. While selecting my build I found out that I didn't have the black knife so I first went to the black knife assassin that had it and I killed it with my pathetic sorcerer build. Next I went to the blacksmith to level up the black knife to level 10 and you might say oh you're making it too easy in which my response is I don't care and watch until late game to see how easy this becomes. I went to Renala and changed my stats. Now I'm ready. This is my build and stats. Apparently this knight's cavalry drops the bloodhound step and I thought that would be a fun addition to the run. Uh, okay, uh, never mind. Time for new game plus. First, the Grafted Scion. Damn, I might be a bit too overpowered. After a few hits, the Grafted Scion died. Next, the most feared enemy, the Soldier of God. Oh, Rick. Oh well, uh, must have been good RNG, right? Well, the Tree Sentinel has to be more difficult. Well, uh, yeah. I noticed that the Blade of Death is a bit overpowered, especially in the early game, but hey, I was gonna play as a Black Knife Assassin, so I'm not gonna shame myself for using it. I first said hi to my wife and made my way to Margit. Of course, entering Margit's arena, he threatened me. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Oh silly Margit, you'd never change. I had to teach him a lesson, that giving people death threats isn't really kind, so I gave him an ass whooping, a very painful one. Margit? More like Mar... Huh, dead. <laughs> Time for Godric. Uh, I heard this is a shortcut to Godric. Trust me. So I realized that early game bosses give me plenty of room to cast Blade of Death as long as I simply keep my distance. Oh, how the tables have turned. This time I was the one that commanded Godric to kneel twice and he eventually just perished. Even that dragon thing couldn't save him. How sad. Next up was the dog. I'm not even gonna bother. The dog felt like a regular enemy. Even though he did almost kill me, the dog got so scared he even tried to run away. Of course, I couldn't let him. Radagon would be pissed if his dog was missing. On my way to Renala, I came across the Carrion Knight. So, as I did before, I tried to bait him to jump into the Endless Pit. But this time, he knew what my plan was. He baited me into jumping into the Endless Pit. And it worked out for him, until he jumped after me like the moron that he is. So Renala was easy as hell, I almost got her after her shield went down for the first time. She got away with only 1 HP or something. Phase 2 also wasn't that bad, this was the first time fighting her that she started summoning. Even that couldn't stop me. I made my way to the Draconic Tree Sentinel. I kinda remember him from my first challenge, and I could abuse my Blade of Death ability again. So he wasn't difficult. A more fun fact is that I always thought it was Dragonic Tree Sentinel, but in this fight I've come to realize it is Draconic with a C. Such an educational game. And from now on it started to get a bit more difficult. I fought this new shiny Pokemon called Godfrey and I underestimated him. He wasn't hard or anything, it was just that I didn't expect to die three times. But even then, Godfrey couldn't protect himself from a powerful Black Knife assassin. And he's supposed to be the first Elden Lord? What a joke. While taking a fun little stroll to Morgoth, I saw my teammate, a Black Knife assassin. We did a bit of sparring, and when he had enough, we went our separate ways. I went to Morgoth, he went to... Uh his grave. Morgoth took a little bit more time, only 15 minutes though, but while fighting Morgoth and Godfrey I tried to not only spam Blade of Death and I think that's the reason it took longer. Eventually Morgoth decided he wanted to visit Margit. How could I say no? He even asked me politely. I cut our fight short and gave him a week long vacation. Let's go to my personal most feared boss, the Fire Giant. First some weeaboo wanted to show me his katana collection. I didn't want to be rude so I told him I was in a rush. 
the fire giant. I was ready to die another 500 times. However, I got him after 3 tries. The game probably remembered our previous confrontation and had pity. And the fire giant went down. That's what you get for, uh, being a giant. <laughs> I sure showed him. Oh. Next up, the community's most feared and especially hated boss, the Godskin Duo. After a few deaths, I started getting these PTSD attacks. And I decided that for this fight alone, I would switch my tactic. As I said before, after the Draconic Tree Sentinel, I wanted to use my dagger more instead of only using the Blade of Death skill, which made the game a bit harder. So now, for the Godskin Duo, my tactic was to use my Blade of Death skill only on the skinny one, because I didn't want the fatty to start rolling. And that's exactly what I did. I ignored the average McDonald's customer and completely focused on the skinny one. This attempt alone took 15 minutes, but it was worth it. I eventually defeated the Godskin Duo without killing the duo, so it's more like the Godskin solo. <laughs> Okay, I really need to stop making these horrible jokes. It is time for Malakath. And holy shit, this was a sudden spike in difficulty. I mean, the Godskin duo fight was tedious, but I died so many times to Malakath. This was the moment where I thought that the plus 10 dagger didn't do shit. He's extremely aggressive in both his first and second phase. His first phase took a while to learn, but his second phase was a whole different story. Many times he would die because he hit me with his black blade, and I couldn't heal myself in time due to his follow-up attacks. This was the boss that made me take breaks every 30 minutes because I was literally tilting like I'm playing a League of Legends game with an AFK in my team and someone that runs into the tower while I'm in my last promotion match. I even started swapping talismans that might help me win this fight and after 3 hours I still didn't want to give up because unlike other bosses in my previous run I had a feeling that I was actually getting somewhere and after another hour of trying to learn his second phase I finally got him. I was extremely excited but I also felt sad because I know that the bosses from now on will be even harder. I went to Gideon next and I actually thought that Gideon would be pretty easy and he definitely would. If he stopped spamming 16 attacks at once, better change his name from Gideon the all knowing to Gideon the all spamming. After multiple attempts I thought if he's gonna fight me like a bitch then I'm gonna fight him like a bitch. So like him I started spamming my blade of death until he started rambling that a man cannot kill a god or something. Lord. This bullshit boss. I already had a feeling that Horalu would be a pain in the ass. Godfrey was the same as before but a little different. I still died a lot because of his first phase but phase 2 is where it's at. I absolutely hate this phase. No recovery time, almost one hit grabs, well sometimes even one hit grabs, delayed attacks. This boss has everything that actually annoys the shit out of me. I'm even surprised that this boss took me only 2 hours and 30 minutes because it sure as hell felt way longer. I also started trying to jump at certain attacks instead of just dodging and I did a lot of running in his second phase. Eventually I got him. Don't ask me how, I still think it was simply luck. I never had the feeling that I was making progress in this second phase. Heck, I was even considering using a summon, but I'm glad I didn't. Oh also, I had so much adrenaline or something going through me that I accidentally went over my level cap. So now I'm actually level 153 and I put it in endurance. Technically, I've lost the challenge, but because I put so much time into this, I'll just pretend that it didn't happen and I'm still level 150. It is time for the final boss, or bosses, Radagon and Elden Beast. While fighting Radagon and dying a hundred times, I started to come up with a theory why I'm having such a hard time with these late game bosses, and that is that I finished this game only once as a mage. So I technically finished the game on easy mode without having to fight close combat. This means that next to a challenge run, this run is also just me learning the bosses. And as you can guess, Radagon was also a pain in the ass. After a few hours of just dying, I started to get bored and annoyed, of course. So I thought, screw it, I'm gonna try this tactic because, well, it's the last boss anyway. So I went to the same black knife assassin to get my second black knife. And you might say, oh, you're breaking your rules and you're making it too easy. And my response is that you're wrong. The question was if I can beat Elden Ring as a black knife assassin. And with two black knives, I couldn't be more of a black knife assassin. On my way to the black knife assassin, Margaret said he wanted a rematch. So I replied to him with his own line. 
đâu mà chữ thầy con cặc đâu mày nói chuyện vô dân quá mày coi chừng mày chết với tao mày and his flame was indeed extinguished then i fought the black knife assassin to see who's the truest black knife assassin of course i was the winner but he did try to cheat because i had to fight him with 20 fps or something luckily that didn't work out for him i did the upgrade thingy and went back to radagon and it changed nothing my combos were quicker sure but i only did 100 more damage after dying i tried applying crease only to realize that it wasn't possible to do this on the black knives so i scrapped that idea and started actually learning his moveset i also want to add that i think my controller is half broken because a lot of times i press buttons and my character doesn't do anything so that adds a bit of difficulty i guess but okay eventually i beat radagon and it was time for elden beast and of course i died but i came pretty far so i was very motivated and felt like it was definitely possible to defeat him so I kept trying I want to add that his grab attack is annoying as hell and does way too much damage literally one shotting me so after multiple days multiple breaks and multiple millions of deaths I finally got him the fun thing is that I wasn't confident in this boss run at all it started pretty rough with Radagon but the lower Elden Beast health was the more confident I became I even dodged his overpowered grab attack three or two times and dodged his Elden stars uh, sort of. And in the end, with a soaking wet controller full of sweat, I delivered the final blow to the Elden Beast. I literally jumped up in excitement to think I was finally done with his run that probably wouldn't even be considered difficult for most people that do challenge runs. This officially marks the second time I beat Elden Ring. Oh, you want me to fight Radon or Melania? Well, screw that. I'm actually done with this challenge. I thought this challenge would have been a breeze, but instead I wanted to throw my controller out of the window. These last few bosses are the reason that I've been working on this video for four weeks. So here it is. You can beat Elden Ring as a black knife assassin. I want to do more challenge runs, but for now I will take a short break and focus on different games. I do have multiple video ideas in mind. If you made it to the end, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. This video actually took me way too much time. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye. A sea will look back upon us and recall. An age of fracture.